this is Katie. In today's video, I'm going to go through this disaster of a mess of all my clothes. And so you guys, I'm sure most of you guys have heard of what is on my lens. Was that a glare? Did I just make it worse? Cool. Can you? Okay, good. So I'm sure most of you guys have heard of Marie Kondo. She has a Netflix show actually, but it all started with, she wrote a book uh, several years ago called The Art of Tidying Up or The Magic of tidying up or something like that. I always forget the name of the book, but I actually read that book about a year and a half ago and it was wonderful. If you feel like any part of your life is too cluttered, I would highly suggest that book. I will have it in my Amazon recommended uh, in my description. I love that book a lot. And the main point of that book is to only keep things that spark joy. And so it's literally you hold something in your hand and you think, does this bring me joy? This has hair all over it. Does this bring me joy? And if it doesn't, get rid of it. And so I've been generally doing that method since I read that book about a year and a half ago with my clothes and with my makeup and all that kind of stuff because I like to organize and declutter quite often. And so uh, today we're gonna do it with my clothes. And so these are clothes that I'm, I kind of have already mildly decluttered, but I'm gonna go through them again. And then this is my suitcase. Can you see this? This is my suitcase, my away suitcase. It's the bigger carry-on. I love this suitcase. And this has all my clothes like, freshly washed, just folded them, put them all back. But I realized like it's a little overstuffed and I don't like that. So I wanna go through it and see uh, what I can get rid of and either sell or usually I give my clothes away to charities. And so yeah, let's just get started. Also, I'm still in my pajamas and it's like four o'clock in the afternoon. So just, just so you know. Okay, so let's just start with this little pile right here. This shirt I'm keeping, this is a theory shirt that I got at like TJ Maxx, just like a short sleeved green shirt. These jeans are brand new and I really like them. They were like 20 bucks at TJ Maxx by a brand MIH jeans. I'm really into like the like straight leg jeans right now and these are good. They don't have holes in them because some of my jeans have holes in them so I want to have like one that doesn't. This is a black t-shirt which you guys you guys know that I used to like only wear black but the last few months I've been kind of like going out of my comfort zone a little bit to wear some colors because I was kind of realizing when I was editing and stuff that I didn't love how my skin tone looked when I was wearing all black, unless like I had a lot of makeup on, unless I was very like wearing all black sleek kind of outfit. But if I just had like a black t-shirt on and I didn't really have makeup on, I didn't like how I looked. And so I wanted to uh, add some lighter colors and just more colors to my wardrobe. So anyway, this is a black t-shirt from Vince, again, from TJ Maxx. I have a lot of these like decent uh, brand names that if you buy this at Vince, it's probably like an $80 t-shirt, but you get them at TJ Maxx and they're way cheaper. I see, this is like, I don't know if it brings me joy because right now I'm kind of thinking like whenever I wear black t-shirts, I don't really feel great. Crap. See, this is when it gets hard. Like those, those first two were easy. We're gonna put that in the maybe pile for now. This is my favorite shirt I've ever bought of all time. This is, I'm 100% keeping this. This is the most beautiful shirt I've ever seen. It's just a white silk shirt, but with like colored piping. I love it. This is from Equipment. I got this at Nordstrom Rack. I rarely buy, like, you will see a lot of like nice brand names, or I will like mention a lot of like, like not like trillion dollar shirts or anything, but some decent brand names, but I always get them at Nordstrom Rack or TJ Maxx, especially like the TJ Maxx runway collection. Some TJ Maxx's have that, not all of them, but they have where they have like the really high end stuff, but for way, like way cheaper. And they'll even sometimes have like Gucci and stuff. It's crazy. But anyway, this I cannot fold. I also need to steam it anyways, but that is going to stay for probably the rest of my life. This is just a white t-shirt. This I actually want to try on. So there's going to be some that I'm going to put in the maybe pile and I'll do like a try on later. But this is just a white t-shirt. And like I like the idea of having a white baggy t-shirt because it's like a like a baggy, literally almost looks like just like a Hanes undershirt that you would get. This is going to go in the try on pile. Because it's one of those things of like, I understand the whole idea of holding it and see if it sparks joy. But I feel like sometimes you might hold something and be like, oh, I don't know, and then put it on and then know for sure. You know what I mean? So. That's what we're gonna do. These jeans are the, yeah, okay. I have two similar pairs and I know I'm getting rid of one. These are from H&M. These are their boyfriend jeans and I really like these jeans but they are not great quality. And so I had very similar ones of a little bit of a lighter wash but they ripped in a place where like, near like my hip. It was such a weird, like, but like in the front in a place that did not look cool to have ripped. So I just bought a new pair and I really like those. I love this shirt. I actually just wore this. It smells like actually really good. Why does this smell so good? 
I don't know why that smells so good. Anyway, I love this shirt. No idea what brand this is, but I love, love, love that shirt. I think that was just another like TJ Maxx hunt. A lot of my clothes are TJ Maxx. Some are from Zara. I like love Zara, but rarely find clothes from there that fit me right, if that makes sense. These I'm definitely keeping. These are Joe's jeans, and I get these from, because uh, Joe's jeans are mad expensive. They're like 190 or something. But if you get them at TJ Maxx, or uh, where do they have them? Saks Off Fifth, I think is where I've seen them a bunch. They're like less than, they're like, ha well, depending on what the sale is and stuff, but they're like 120 or less. So I think I bought these for like 80, which is still a lot for jeans, but I love them because jeans don't fit me very well. And if I'm only gonna have four pairs of jeans or something, I want them to be ones that like really, really fit me. Because especially, because these are just, these are skinny black jeans and they're like mid-ish rise. But with my, my body is shaped in a way where a lot of clothes don't fit it in a way that I enjoy it, especially in terms of skinny jeans because the proportion of my waist, my hips, and my thighs are kind of okay proportional uh, sometimes, depending on where the pants hit and, what, and how stretchy they are and whatever. But when they get down to my knees, they're always too big. It's like my knees are like teeny tiny little baby knees. I have no idea, but they're always too big around my knees and my ankles. But Joe's jeans are not. So if you always notice that jeans are too big around your knees, like skinny jeans, get Joe's jeans. Speaking of jeans, these are from Old Navy. These were like, you know, $15 or something. I actually really like these jeans, which is very interesting because I like almost got rid of them and then I started wearing them more and I really like them, but they're still gonna go in the try-on pile. Still gonna go in the try-on pile. Okay, so this shirt was also in the giveaway pile, but then I saw it and I tried it on and I'm like, maybe. So I wanna try it on again, like actually like, put it put like an outfit together and see the only reason I was kind of thinking of getting rid of it is because the white was getting a little dull this is from rag and bone this was like sale rag I got this from a rag and bone store but in the sale section and it has a little feather on it it's cute but again I think I like washed it with like darks one day and it got a little like faded but the lighting in here it actually looks decently bright in the camera but in here it's actually pretty dark in here so I want to try that on and double check. This is a scarf that I got with the taxel on and I've literally never worn it. I'm absolutely getting rid of that. I don't I just haven't worn scarves. There's also a winter jacket over there that I'll show you guys that I'm getting rid of because this whole winter and I was in New York I was which gets really cold. I was in Nashville which gets semi-cold. I did not wear a winter coat once. I just wore some of my heavier fall coats sometimes. Like you guys know like my like my leopard print jacket. I wore that some of the times that it was really cold. Okay so now we're gonna go to my suitcase and don't mind my my legs i have shorts on most of this stuff i'm keeping but i just want to go through it one more time so these are a pair of black shorts from zara i'm definitely keeping these i don't really have many shorts i think i have yeah and then i have two pairs from oh do you guys want me to talk sizes too is that a thing or no because i think sometimes people don't like when people talk about sizes but i do so that i can see like oh that person looks like they're about my size what size do they take you know so most of these shirts are are extra smalls that's generally what i i think actually all of them really are the green one that first green one i showed you is just a, a p like a petite and most of my jeans are 26s so if it's anything different i'll let you know like these Two pairs of jeans that are very, very similar, just different, they're different washes, but they're the same cut. These are Levi's and these are 27. So I'm gonna keep all three of those. I don't love wearing shorts. Do any of you guys deal with this too? That like you wear shorts and then like where this rubs your thigh gets like irritated. I just don't, maybe I just need to get baggier shorts. I don't know. Okay, so those are my three pairs of shorts. I have another pair of black skinny jeans. I actually think they're the same exact jeans, but I wanted to have two pairs because I love black skinny jeans. They're like the same Joe's jeans. And see, even like the Joe's jeans are 20, yeah, 26s. These I really like, but see, do they spark joy? These are joggers, like the, this material, almost like dress pant material, but they're joggers. And they're from Target, I think. A brand called Prologue. Is that Target? These are an extra small. Usually in joggers and stretchy pants, I'm a small, not an extra small, but these for some reason I was extra small. Ah, <sighs> those go in the try pile. Okay, these jeans I love, 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 love. These are from Zara. They're a size, Zara, I'm, usually either a size USA four or six, which is so weird because I feel like in other stores I'm like a two. H&M, I'm like a six. It, all stores are different. These are like like baggier straight leg pants and I really like them. The one thing I am on the hunt for is a pair of skinny blue jeans because I have like three pairs of, oh, so that means I'm gonna have six pairs of jeans. <sighs> I think I'm okay with that. 
I'll see how it all fits. But so I have like essentially like three pairs of straight leg blue jeans, two pairs of skinny black jeans, and I want one pair of skinny blue jeans, but I just can't, I haven't found any that I like yet. Okay, so that's all my jeans and my shorts. That's a lot. I feel like that's a lot. Okay, so then I have, I feel like, are your pajamas supposed to spark joy? These are just pajama shorts. Like they're fine. Am I doing this totally wrong? I'm gonna keep these. These are from Target and these are a small. They're just pajama shorts. These are, oh, another pair of pajama shorts. These are the same ones that I'm wearing right now, which you can't see, but they're, I think also from Target. I think for now, I think I'm gonna keep one pair. I'm not gonna keep both. I'm gonna keep one and then still maybe like go out on the hunt and look for more. I do like these Calvin Klein pajama pants. These are super thin pajama pants. I get really like warm when I sleep. Okay, so, oh, and then I have another pair of really thin pajama pants. I have no idea what these are. And I almost don't wanna open them because they're already folded, but I'm gonna keep these too. I feel like I have so many clothes. But if you think about it, it's like, I only really like to do laundry like once a month. So like two pairs of pajama shorts in the summer makes sense. But then almost that even almost seems like I don't have enough. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's so hard sometimes, you know? Okay, so then I have, these I actually need to try on. Because I have not gone to the gym in a really long time because you guys, you guys know I hurt my neck and blah, 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 I can't do anything. So I haven't gone to the gym in a while and I have gained a little bit of weight also. All my gym pants, I always get in the small. I, extra small is way too small, but I don't even know if these are gonna fit anymore. I think they do, but I wanna try those on just in case because I do like all, I have three pairs of gym pants. If I'm gonna start going to the gym regularly again, I would probably buy more. But these are just, you know, cause I'm gonna be out hiking and stuff sometimes in the summer. So I want to have pants that fit me. These I just bought, I'm definitely keeping these. These are like workouty hiking shorts. These are both the brand 90 degree and they're both a small. I just got like a khaki pair and a black pair. And then I have three workout shirts. Are these, they, they are supposed to spark joy, right? Like none of these spark joy, but like how is a black like sweat resistant shirt gonna spark joy when I don't care about it? But I guess like they have like pretty workout clothes. This is not good for my neck. I should not be, oh, I'm gonna do this. See like this is kind of where it gets hard because it's like, well, these are just certain things that I need. But like, if you don't feel good wearing them, cause that's also with clothes and, and shoes and stuff like that. Like if you don't feel good wearing it, why do you still have it? And the other, the other like piece of advice that I like to go by is would you buy it again now? I really, really like that advice. Especially if you haven't worn something in a while. Like, would you buy it again now? And like, honestly, like I, maybe it's cause they're all black. Again, maybe I'm just like, I'm, oh my gosh, am I getting out of like wearing black all the time? This is wild. But yeah, like these black like t-shirty things like don't really bring me joy. Like I don't really like how they look. I just have them. So maybe that might be, maybe if the pants fit, I'll keep the pants even though they're black and then I'll just get like lighter colored shirts. Maybe that would make me feel a little bit better. Like if you really pay attention, like does this bring me joy or do I just have it? And do I just wear it? You know, like if you really pay attention, it's very weird. I think I'm getting rid of them. Ooh, I, I know that's not that big of a deal, but Okay, so that means that means we have to go gym shirt shopping at some point. Okay, so let's put all these back. Oh, and then also Marie Kondo says to she I mean honestly just read that book. I, I would I really do suggest it. Because she teaches you how to like fold your clothes and stuff. Oh, she also says to say thank you. Thank you, clothes, if you're giving them away. Like with jeans, she says like fold in half and then fold in thirds. Like there's she has like very specific ways of doing things. And these do all fit in here. Like they actually fit very perfectly in there. So these are all my bottoms. And so I have all my jeans and then I could still fit one more pair of jeans in here. But also when do you have all of your bottoms <laughs> in there? You know what I mean? You're always going to have something out of here, but they do fit. And these are my pajama bottoms. These are my shorts. And then I'm gonna be able to fit my workout yeah, I'll be able to fit my workout bottoms in here too. So, okay, cool. So, pants are, at least the pants in the suitcase are right And then, let's go through shirts, which is going to be harder. I feel like pants are a little bit easier because all the pants that I put over here that I'll just show you that I already did definitely decide that I'm getting rid of, I'll show you it's because they're too small on me now because I did gain a few pounds. Okay, so then can you see this side? Okay, so this side, is held together by this thing and then you can like attach these and then like really push this down and pull them and it really like it's really cool it's really cool design and this is a this side is a like a mesh zipper and it has this thing that i have 
sports bras in. Okay, so this side, oh man. But look, I have colors. Isn't that cool? This shirt I'm definitely keeping. I'm obsessively in love with this shirt. Look how cute this is. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your entire life? It is a crop top, but a lot of my jeans are high-waisted, so that's fine. I got it from Urban Outfitters in uh, San Diego, I think, when I was just there. I love that shirt. This shirt, I think, is going to be another try-on shirt. Because this shirt, like, I wore in one of my videos, and so many of you guys loved it. But then, like, I never even wore it again. And should I just go back here? Hold on. Should I do this? And then like move the camera up so I don't have to be slouching. How's that? Does that work? I think that I think that works. Okay. But yeah, so this shirt I wore in a video and like a lot of people really liked it. But then I just kind of like never wore it again. And then I put it in the giveaway pile. But then I was like, oh, but like I like it and it's pretty. Maybe this could be another try on. And I'll show all the try on stuff at the end, by the way. This is another one of my favorite shirts that I just bought. I need to steam this real bad. This is Current Elliott, again, which is a very expensive brand, but I got it at Nordstrom Rack. Looks like a simple green, green and white stripe button down, but the back has this like giant hole in it, and then it has a knot here. It's so cool. I love this shirt, but it definitely needs to be steamed. I did just buy a steamer, PS, which I've, I've never had one, but I just bought one. Okay, so we're keeping that. This is another one of my favorite shirts in the entire world. I will never get rid of this shirt. This is my Tim Storm shirt. <laughs> Tim Storm is my favorite wrestler. He's one of my friends, actually. And it's just a shirt with him on it. And I'm so obsessed with it. It's like an extra large. And so like I wear it to bed. And I love this shirt so much. I do like this shirt. This is a newer shirt. This is Vince. This is an extra small. I got this again at TJ Maxx or something. This is just, I like this color blue. And it's just a thin long sleeve shirt like a long sleeve t-shirt. This is very, why are these also wrinkly? It may have been because I had too many in there and they got like too smushed, but I'm gonna refold them anyway. I do like this shirt a lot. This is just a long sleeve mock turtleneck. Hi mom. Okay. At my mom's house, by the way, if you could not tell. Yeah, I am gonna refold everything later to put it in here. Cause I do want to get rid of some of the stuff in here because it's a little bit too packed. This is my NWA t-shirt, obviously keeping this, obviously. This t-shirt, so I got into stripes this year but I feel like so many striped shirts, like the one that I showed you before, I, here, I'll show you again. I love this shirt. It's a tiny little mock turtleneck and it's short sleeved and the stripes are small and like, it's a almost dizzying, you know, like that level. But I feel like some stripes don't look great. And then I also feel like some of the shirts that I've bought that are striped, I don't know if it's just that I've been consistently buying cheaper material or what, but they, they looked like, pulley or like runny or something almost and so this one doesn't i had a very similar one to this and it did start to look runny so this is the brand abound uh it's an extra small this i think is at nordstrom rack that brand and it's a it's very inexpensive brand i think it's like 17 dollars or something i do like this another little mock turtleneck i guess i really like mock turtlenecks but this is like a really little like a really little one this shirt you know what this used to be like my favorite shirt and then i don't think that i'm gonna keep it anymore it's just a black v-neck from my mom is watching me right now. <laughs> I saw you out of the corner of my eye. No, I just love this black v-neck, but I don't even like it anymore. And I have another black v-neck. I don't need two. So anyway, I'm gonna get rid of this t-shirt, especially since I have another black v-neck. And again, especially since like right this second, I don't wanna have like all black clothes. This shirt I just bought, this is real cute. This is Rebecca Taylor, again, another offensive brand. So I got it at, I think I got this at the fancy TJ Maxx in Brentwood, Tennessee. So it was, again, like way cheaper than uh, like her regular prices. Way, 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 way cheaper. But this definitely needs to be steamed. It is a very thin, so like this is like super like, like you could wear this in the spring, summer. Super thin white t-shirt with um, little flowers on it. Could you imagine me wearing this? Could you, could like if you told me six months ago that I'd be wearing shirts with freaking flowers on them and like a bright green striped shirt, I'd be like, okay, have you met me? I'm only wearing black. Okay. The next shirt I also really like, this is from Zara. This is a small. Some Zara shirts only come like small, medium, large, and then some have like extra small and extra large, but I think this one only came small, medium, large. I love this shirt. I think it's so cool. I don't know why, but I think it's really cool. This is from Zara too, I think. Yeah, another small. It's a New York shirt. Maybe I don't need this. But I like the idea of like, like I'm from, you know, like I'm from here. Am I gonna wear it though? I mean, honestly, maybe not. I think that I also extra liked this shirt because I bought it in uh, like LA or San Diego or something and I just thought it was kind of funny. But maybe I don't need that shirt. Okay, this, uh, as much as I love it, I might get rid of it. So this is a bodysuit and I love 
bodysuits because I love having my clothes tucked in. And if you guys don't know what a bodysuit is, essentially like a bathing suit. Most of them have buttons on the bottom to like use the bathroom, but some of them don't, which I don't want to deal with. But anyway, I love them because like you're tucked in, right? But I've realized, kind of like what I mentioned with the shorts, that like when I wear shorts, it like starts to like irritate me. I feel like bodysuits do the same thing. And so at least the one, I have two. So at least the two that I have like have started to like irritate like almost like my bikini line kind of. Is that TMI? Sorry. But as much as I love bodysuits, I don't think I'm gonna buy any more or keep them because they just kind of like, I feel like they like, they like pull in and they just irritate me. So that kind of sucks. I really do like bodysuits. But here's my other one that again, I, I like, but they irritate me. So I, I want to buy a few more tank tops. I feel like this is like the only tank top that I own. This is also from Rag and Bone, the sale section when I went last year. This is an extra small. I love this. It's kind of like thicker, not like too thick, but like I don't even know how to explain it. Just a little bit thicker. Like it's not like t-shirt material. High neck, almost a boat neck kind of. Just fitted black tank top. I love, I love this tank top. So I'm definitely keeping that. This is a shirt that I've gone back and forth with a few times. So this is going to be one that I try on. Because whenever I wear it, I'm like, oh, this shirt's so cool. I got this from Zara, I think last year. It's an extra small. And I like it and I think it's cool. But this is like hard to show. But like this v-neck part like this little lining part kind of pops out sometimes and it really bothers me and i feel like i could just like sew it a little bit more but i don't know i, I don't know if i love it enough to like put any effort into <laughs> sewing it so i'm just gonna put it in the try on pile this one i'm also gonna put in the try on pile which sucks because when i bought this shirt i was obsessed with it and i just bought it like six months ago it's another vince shirt i guess i like vince i feel like i've said like his name quite a few times an extra small but this is very baggy like a super baggy shirt obviously striped, differing stripes on the sleeves, which is cool. And it's long sleeved and the sleeves are tight, but the body is baggy, which is cool. It's a cool style. But again, I was saying like, I feel like maybe I'm not washing them correctly or something, but I feel almost like it's like faded, but it just almost looks like it's like bleeding. And I don't know if that's just me being weird. I don't even know if it's going to pick up on camera, but I just feel like it's like bleeding a little bit. But like this one, there's something I think about this material that this there definitely is like this is more like something that might pill you know like that material but this is like like stronger or something i don't know i don't know but i'm gonna try this one on again and then this shirt i know i'm keeping i love this shirt this is a long sleeve super thin mock turtleneck, like of course but it has like really cool sleeves it has like a mild mild poof at the shoulder and then this little like iguana thing at the elbow but i really like this and this is just some like i think a tj maxx thing i don't even know what brand this is free press Oh, so maybe that's Nordstrom Rack in an extra small. I think that's Nordstrom Rack, but I probably got that a year or two ago and I really like that shirt. Almost done. This one, see, this one I almost reached for the other day, but then didn't. And I just wonder if it's because it's a very wintry shirt. I don't really have many winter shirts, but I think this is one of them. This is ribbed, which I normally do not go for ribbed stuff. I do not like how it looks on my body. Mock shoulder neck with, again, with like frilly shoulders and it has like a cutout on the back of your neck. But for some reason right now, the shirt is not bringing me joy. Why? I really like this shirt. That's so weird. I don't know why. Maybe that can go in the try on pile. I feel like this is, that's not a Marie Kondo thing, the try on pile, but I'm just doing it that way. Remember I said I had another v-neck shirt? Uh, it's a, the brand Splendid, an extra small. It's a little baggier. The other one, the Zara one, like, is a little short. And so when I tuck it in, it's not like, I don't know. It doesn't fit as well tucked in. I don't know if it shrunk or what, because like a year ago, I, that was like my favorite black t-shirt. But so I'm going to keep that one. This is my merch. So I'm definitely keeping this, my Katie Carney uh, black sweatshirt. I do not even wear sweatshirts, but I like love this. Like this is the only sweatshirt I own. Well, no, that's a lie. I also own a zippy Raina Kindle sweatshirt, which I'm never, ever getting rid of. Oh, I also, you guys, I have three more shirts in the car that I just remembered because they were drying, so they weren't in here. Definitely keeping all them, but I will like do little inserts here of what they look like. There's one pink shirt that I think has flowers on it that was in one of my more recent Instagram pictures that I love. One yellow shirt that's long sleeves that I also just bought. I think that's from Zara. The pink one, I cannot remember where it's from, but the yellow one is from Zara that I bought this season. And then a black silk short sleeve shirt that I got from a store called Baldwin on Melrose in West Hollywood. And I'm keeping that one as well. That one's in the car because it definitely needs to go to the dry cleaner. And so it's not in here. So anyway, okay. 
Then this is just another theory tank top. This one I'm definitely trying on because at first I almost returned it, but then it was like too late to return it. And so I couldn't, so then I kept it and then I wore it and I'm like, well, actually I, I do kind of like this, but I don't want to keep clothes that I kind of like. I want to keep clothes that I really, really like. So that's going to go try on this shirt. Here's the thing about this shirt again, because these black t-shirts for some reason, the more like fitted or more like the fancier black shirts, I still feel good in, but there's something about the black t-shirts that I'm not feeling as good in. But this one, is the funniest shirt I've ever seen. I don't even know if I've ever even talked about it like in a video. I think I might have worn it once or twice, but it says unsubscribe on it. And I think it's hilarious. But again, there's just something about black t-shirts with my skin tone lately that has been really bothering me. So that's gonna go in the mail pal too, dang. These two shirts I'm definitely 100% keeping, no questions asked. This is by a Christian brand that I did like a little modeling shoot for like a year and a half ago. It's called like CXX. I, I I think and this one says obedience on it and I love it and this is my Yellowstone shirt So I like I'm obsessed with those. Okay, here's all the stuff that I'm keeping like definitely keeping so it's just that maybe pile like I really cannot keep everything on that maybe pile and then I'm gonna have to refold these but like I just cut out like almost half of that stuff in there So that's pretty cool. Okay, so now we're gonna go through this and this is gonna be much quicker This video is almost over. I know it's very long But this is the last pile and most of these are definitely getting rid of because they don't fit me anymore Like these three pairs of jeans. These are from Old Navy. They're too tight. These are from Ann Taylor, which used to fit me but there's something happened when i washed them and they got like weirdly pulley so we're getting rid of those these are from zara they're like like stretchy uh wide leg pants too tight get rid of those uh these are hudson jeans that i again tj maxx or something uh too tight <laughs> so i'm just getting rid of like all these jeans that i used to have which and if you're wondering how do you used to fit all these clothes in with all these clothes if this is so packed i didn't these were already out of my suitcase because i already was pretty pretty sure I was gonna get rid of them and then I just wanted to like double check before I actually got rid of them and so they weren't in my suitcase they were just in like other bags these are Tula Rosa jeans and these were like my favorite blue skinny jeans like they fit me really well even around my knees but now they're too tight like I gained 10 pounds is what happened over the last like year or so and it's just that a lot of my jeans just won't button so I had to buy a few new pairs that fit me so that's what happened here's a black tank top that i again this is ribbed and i i have like one shirt that's ribbed that i'm in that's in the maybe pile but i don't like this one so we're gonna get rid of that i had these fake leather pants that have the tags on them but i did wear them once i just like tucked the tag in and i liked them but now they're a little too tight and i also just honestly also just can't see myself wearing them really so i'm gonna get rid of those these were the boyfriend jeans that i showed you from h m these are the ones that i said ripped they ripped here like i think it used to be like a little rip because there's like a little rip on this side so maybe it was a little rip but then it like really ripped so when i wear these it like it's opened up it doesn't look cool i don't like it so we're getting rid of those this is a raincoat which is totally fine but i realized that after having this for about a year i never used it because i don't use raincoats because i just kind of go out in the rain and i don't care this t-shirt was like devastating because i love this t-shirt it's a tory birch yeah it's tory birch which is crazy expensive but again nordstrom rack so way cheaper and it has this like really cool like picture on it i just thought it was like the coolest shirt but i accidentally washed it with my jeans like i didn't know it was in there and it got like splotchy like it got so dingy and splotchy from one wash and i was just devastated and like i wouldn't want to bleach it obviously because it has, this, it has screen printing like i just did not mean and i just like messed up i know again in this light it might look like fine but in real life it got real dingy and i am bummed because i only wore it like twice but again, if it, it's not gonna make me feel pretty because all I'm gonna think about is how dingy it is. And so for me personally, like obviously some of these things, like I might be saying things that you're like, oh no, I like that or, or whatever, but I'm just saying for me personally or how it fits me, how it looks on me, or just how I think it looks or how it makes me feel, like I just wouldn't. So, okay, we're almost done. This is a dress, if you can believe it, that I owned a dress at some point. I bought it like six months ago and it was like five bucks or something, like on the sale rock at H&M. And then I just was like, I'm not gonna wear this. So we're gonna get rid of that. And then what else is in here? Oh, this is a coat. Okay. This is really like the last thing. There's a few other like little arguments, but this is really the last thing. So this is, I love this coat. This is like a Michael Kors coat that I got again at TJ Maxx or something. And it's just a beautiful and beautifully fitting pea coat. And it has a hood, which is awesome. But I don't wear coats. I really, really like this one, but I literally don't wear coats. Oh, there's one other coat. Hold on one second. 
So this is the other coat that I had that I think I got last winter, like a year and a half ago, or like almost two years ago winter. Uh, this is from H&M. This is in a size two. I feel like usually at H&M I'm a little bit bigger. Like I'm usually like a four or six, but anyway. Um, this is like a size two, one of those like super soft on the inside, but I did not wear either of these once last winter at all. So, okay. This is all the stuff we're getting rid of. Oh, these are a few more shirts that I need to fold and put in here. So these are all the shirts that we're keeping. And see, like, there's a lot, there's a lot more room now. And I, I told you, I have, like, three more in the car. But once I actually really fold these and, like, get them in there, there's a lot more room. And so these are the things that I am trying on. And then these are the things that I'm also getting rid of. Like, this pile. Well, here, I'll just bring all these over. So this is all the stuff that I'm getting rid of. I think that that's pretty good. That's about, again, these are all the the stuff that I was pretty, pretty sure that I was getting rid of that has already been out of my suitcase for the last couple months, but I just haven't like really gone through them again to make sure. And so I wanted to do that again. I wanted to do that with you guys. So yeah, I'm gonna try those on. My mom and I are gonna go grab dinner. It's almost six, but those are ones I'm gonna try on and I will do that later. And then once this is all packed, I'll show you guys. Hey guys, it's a few hours later. I went and got dinner with my mom. We watched a couple episodes of Friends and I, finished folding all the clothes that I'm definitely keeping and I figured that I would try on all the maybe clothes right now and just show you really quickly. This was that um, long sleeved shirt. I'm gonna get rid of this. It just like, again, it's all about like, I just don't feel pretty in it. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. Okay, this, this is just still like the funniest shirt I've ever seen, but does it bring me joy? Mm, no, <laughs> that's so weird. Like I love it. Like I remember seeing this shirt like the first time I saw it and I was like, oh my God, it's so funny, but it doesn't bring me joy, so, okay. This shirt is like that short sleeve, like ribbed one that I said like I was gonna return, but then I didn't I actually like this one. I like this, this is cute. Okay, I'm gonna keep this one. Okay, this is that ribbed mock turtleneck. You're not really gonna be able to like, see, but there's a little cutout on the back. Yeah, I like this. I think I'm gonna keep this one too. I'm not gonna go through the hassle of buttoning these tiny little buttons. Mm, I think it's a really cool shirt. Like, I think it's a beautiful shirt. But I just, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, this shirt, I would need to wear something under it. This has like cool, like, bell-ish sleeves. And this button's in the back, so this like, isn't this loose. But it's actually kind of tight, why? Mm, I don't, nah. don't mind the black bra, but this one, I'm gonna have to look at in like better lighting. Cause like I said, like I think I washed it and it got a little like the, the white doesn't look great anymore. But besides that, it's like a cute white shirt. I wish I got this in the size bigger just so it was a little like baggy. Like it fits obviously, but I wish it was like a baggier shirt instead of a fitted shirt. Okay, this is that like oversized white t-shirt. I feel like so many people can pull these off and like look cool. And I just don't think I'm one of them. Also, like, I don't like how, I just don't like how it, like, lays on me. Like, I, I want, like, a baggy white t-shirt, but I don't like how this one, like, yeah, no. Okay, so these are those joggers. I really like these. I think these are cool pants. Um, and then this is just a very simple black t-shirt. I do think I'm going to keep this t-shirt. Like I said, like, I do want to incorporate more color, but I feel like most of the things I'm keeping actually aren't black t-shirts. I think I kept that one v-neck black t-shirt, and so now I'll just have a round neck one, especially because like when I go out at night, sometimes I like to wear all black, and even if it's just a t-shirt and black jeans and like a pair of like nice shoes, and then like my makeup's done, like I feel nice. So I think I'm going to keep this. Okay. These are those old navy jeans. It's just like, I don't, I don't know if I need four pairs of straight leg pants, you know? I don't know. These are like thin, so like they're comfy, but like I have three other pairs of straight leg pants. So I probably don't need these, right? Right, right, okay. I'm gonna try on the workout pants and then I'm done. Okay, these are a little tight like around my waist, but like a little like uncomfortable tight, like the waistband's like digging in. Okay, these are less tight than those. But I, I like the first ones, like I like the pattern on them. They have like 
like meshing and like black on black camo. I like these, but yeah, they're just all like a little tight. They're like a little tight. Like I feel like if I lost like three pounds, they'd be fine. But like, I don't know if I'm gonna lose three pounds, but they're like kind of uncomfortable. Dang it, I don't know. Okay, well, anyway. So I'm going to show you how I packed my shirt. I think I showed you how I packed the pants, right? And so I just have these few others and then the ones that I did the cutaways for before, those are the only ones that I still have to put in. And I decided to keep my sweatshirt because it takes up so much room in here. I'm just gonna keep this out in the car. Like I keep my hoodie out in the car and my jackets. And so I'm just gonna put my sweatshirt with all those that I'll have more room in here. So let me show you this real quick. So Marie Kondo does say to stack everything up like I did my pants, but I can't really get these small enough to do that because this is very shallow here with the shirt. So I just piled them for now, we'll see. But yeah, so I got rid of enough that like I have these three piles. And again, like this even suctions down. So like, yeah, this one's a little bit higher, but honestly, I could probably pack two more on here and still like close this and tighten it enough that it would close fine. But also, so I have this space for the other, I think I'm putting like four or five more shirts in here. And so that's what that space is. And I ended up folding these in half and then like in half sideways to fit a little bit better that way. So that's it. And that's gonna be it for this incredibly long video. If you guys are still watching, that's awesome. And leave, what emoji should we leave? Leave any camping emojis, so like trees or like a tent or anything like that. Leave one of those in the comments so I know that you watch until the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it and just enjoyed like watching me declutter. I like watching videos like this. Is this focused on me at all? No. Hey, was this not focusing the whole time? Why won't I focus? Okay, I can't get to focus and now my face looks so red. Okay, but anyway, I'm gonna go. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're not already. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.